And here we have 4.5 factoring by AC method and the directions say factor by grouping, sometimes called the AC method. This is the method we've been using any time that there was a number in the front. Um, so there's nothing different or new in this um, kind of problem as far as what we're going to do. So we're going to do the problem exactly as we would have. So 20 times negative 2 is negative 40. The factors of negative 40 that subtract to give me 3 are 5 and 8. And since it's positive 3, the bigger number would have to be positive, making the smaller number negative. And then just verify again, right? Just to make, be sure. Do these multiply to give me negative 40? Yes. Do they combine to give me positive 3? Yes. So think of it as negative 5 plus 8. That gives me positive 3. So then what do I do with those? I rewrite 20x squared. And then instead of plus 3x, I'm going to use minus 5 and positive 8, but I need to keep the same variable that that 3x had. And then finally, the last term, minus 2. So the only thing different here in this problem is instead of just giving you the final answer, they actually want to know how you split up that 3x. And since I have a negative first and then a positive, I'm going to select this one here that has a negative and then a positive so that is this choice here and then i'm just going to fill it in with the numbers i have so i have a negative five and then i have a positive eight and so those are the numbers that i would plug in there and then um, the factorization we have to actually finish this out so i could factor out a 5x and i would get 4x minus 1 bring down the plus sign, factor out a 2, I get 4x minus 1, factor out the 4x minus 1, I get 5x plus 2. And so then the factorization is the complete answer, 5x plus 2. And that's it.